What's up guys and welcome back to Cyberpunk Tech, where technology never sleeps. Sorry I have been MIA for a couple of weeks, things have just been quite hectic for me. Now without further ado, I bring you guys the top 5 smartphone apps available on both iOS and Android. Make sure to subscribe, leave a like and comment on what apps I should include for the month of March. How about we roll and get right into the video. Alright guys, so the first app over here we have, it is called Zedge, and it is a multimedia app with a bunch of cool features. It's got wallpapers, live wallpapers, widgets, apps, notifications, ringtones. It's very good. I've been using it a lot, and honestly, this is my favorite go-to app for anything that can allow me to customize my phone without having to download a bunch of different launchers. Now here, I am under ringtones. It's got a bunch of popular songs, anything you may want. You can search by categories, I mean comedy, sometimes you want a goofy one for your friend. Now here I'm going to download this wallpaper. I'll show you guys how well it actually works and we're going to click over there, we're going to save it. I am going to save it to my device. I will allow it. Item has been downloaded and now all I have to do is just set it as my wallpaper, which I can do from within the app. Now if we go to the menu, there it is. Now second on the list is Gas Buddy, which is an app that can show you where the, where the cheapest gas prices are within your area. I love this app because I'm always on the road, so I always want the best bang for my buck, considering prices fluctuate a lot. Now here in Edmonton, it's showing me my prices. If I enter a location, if I go back to Edmonton, it will show me here I can confirm prices, I can tell other people what, if the prices fluctuate, if the prices are wrong, and I can look at any specific designated gas stations. Now you can look this at other, in other places, you can look here in LA for example, I believe you can do it in the UK and Australia, I do not know if you can use it absolutely everywhere in the world, but it is quite nice, and you can even, if lower at the bottom, you have the option to filter it out and also enter for chances to win free fuel and i've wanted one of my gas stations 50 dollars in fuel which was quite nice now we have prisma which is what i use to make the profile photo for my youtube channel it is basically like snapchat it just applies a bunch of filters to your photos except these are quite cool you have a feed of uh, what people create, some cool stuff that they create, so you can get any ideas. And if you go to camera, here you can do it yourself. I will do this very quickly. I will take a picture of my camera. There it is, my little Nikon. And we'll select the Rio filter. It's creating the artwork. There's so many of these filters you guys can select from, and it's incredible. Now once it's done creating the artwork, you guys can see what the end result would be. So once that will be done, there we are, that's what our photo would look like. And if you can change the measure and intensity of the filter applied. So if you scroll up, not necessarily scroll up, yeah if you scroll up, you can change the intensity and if you scroll down it can go back to 100. So if you go all the way down almost to zero, you can make your photo look almost natural. So if you keep scrolling up, see, it changes and it looks like the regular photo. If you go back to feed, you can just see what people have created. You have a profile, you can save them, you can upload them to social media later. It is just a very cool, fun app that you can use. Like, look at that photo. That, to me, looks like a very nice photo. There's many. It's almost like Instagram where you can like, you can share. And I just think it's a very, it's a very cool app that people don't take, that they take for granted. Now we have Push Bullet, and this is an app that allows people to text from their phone and tablet. Many people want this as not everybody has a wireless charger. So wherever they have their phone charging, they can still see their text messages and notifications from their smartphone. You can download this on your app, on your computer, your laptop, your tablet, and I will probably do a video on this on exactly how to use it and how to text from your computer. You can 
do many things with it. And what is one of these top fives without CC Cleaner? C Cleaner, not CC Cleaner. <laughs> it's a great app. It cleans and analyzes your phone. It can set up different times when it anal analyzes it. You can get rid of viruses, whatever there is. It's just a simple tool that you can use to keep your phone always fresh, always running to its capability. And it will always be a great app. It will always be in one of my personal top five. And I think that's it for this episode, guys. Thanks for watching. Catch you later.